Welcome to the FinFloor installation guideline. Join me for a brief installation introduction on how to install and safeguard those warranties. Today we're going to be focusing on the Galaxy glue down vinyl from FinFloor which boasts a nice wide body with a micro bevel on the edge. It comes with a 0.55 wear layer, great for those light commercial and moderate commercial settings like boutique stores, etc., and perfect for your household. The reason for that is it also boasts a super UV coating on top of it, and anyone that knows vinyl, vinyl does not like direct sunlight. So these super UV coatings gives you a safeguard against the UV control. It gives you a great stain resistant property. So those households with kids, they love grabbing a Koki and going to town. With this, you are able to wipe it off with nothing more than just your thumb. No cleaning detergents needed. And it also offers you a greater scratch resistance. Please remember that with LVT, this is a more technical installation. So I do prompt you to please find a competent installer that is definitely gonna safeguard those warranties. Let's get into the installation. So part of your planning will be to set out your site. It's always good practice to pin stack your product the day prior to make sure that it acclimatizes properly to the environment. Don't store it in the garage, but preferably storing it in the room of installation. Yeah, we're gonna just follow up with some final checks on our substrate that we've prepped the day prior. Yeah, I'm taking my straight edge, checking any tolerances for the levels to make sure that it is as flat as possible. You must remember with glue down vinyl, it will mirror and mimic whatever the substrate shows. So if your floor is not 100%, it will telegraph through. Yeah, I've taken a cob random brick just to grind down any little highs that I have found. Once you are satisfied with your levels, we will then take out our moisture meter and make sure that it's within the specifications of the supplier. I recommend taking a photo of the moisture meter itself and getting a further photo for some context to make sure that you've got photographic evidence to make sure that all tolerances were met. Once satisfied with all the prep work, we now move down to prepping our site for the layout. Yeah, I'm measuring wall to wall to find my middle line. I mark and I repeat on the opposite end. The reason why we do this practice is because walls are never really 100% straight. So to run off one wall, the floor might begin to creep on you and reveal a thin to a thick slither towards the end. It is always good practice to do this set out for passages as you can never get a solid straight line in a passage with all the door frames. It's always good practice to start from the middle and work your way out. Once we've done this, make sure that we've swept and vacuumed up all the aggregates left on the floor as this could hinder the gluing process as the glue will bond to the dust and the dust won't glue to the substrate. I then get my colleague to come give me a hand. We take a chalk line on the two center lines that I've scribed and we will now project our datum. Shoot the chalk line until visible so that you do not struggle. We grab a box and we set out. While setting out, make sure that you check for any damages on the planks prior and a good installer will always keep an eye out for pattern repeats. Yeah, we are taking two lines to scribe up a straight line as with one line, your headers might open up a small slight amount and you'll only pick up after a few squares when it starts creeping out on you. I've marked two lines on my outer line of flooring and we shoot an additional datum. This will give me a guideline on where to apply my adhesive for the first two lines. Please remember that your adhesive has an open time. Please make sure that you check with your supplier of adhesive on what the open time is or just read the instructions properly. The flash of time is the time that it takes for the adhesive to cure. As soon as it breaches this time frame or this window, your adhesive will be too cured to bond with the flooring and it will just peel up. Once we've scribed up our lines and made sure that there is no pattern repeats, we will now start with the gluing process. I scoop a little bit of adhesive with the trowel and apply it to my area in between my two datums. I apply neatly within my two datum lines. Make sure that you pull the adhesive to the recommended pull rate. Yeah, we are using a two millimeter notch trowel to ensure that we have the correct amount of adhesive to bond the LVT vinyl to the substrate. 
preventing any glue starvation and pooling. As if you do create any pooling in the adhesive, when you do lay the planks and you do use the heavy roller to roll the floor or push down the vinyl, it will just squeeze the adhesive out between the joints, creating more cleanup that is unwanted and can be prevented. Once we have sufficient adhesive on the substrate, we allow to get tacky for five to 10 minutes. This is common good practice for the first two lines as you don't want the two starter lines or three starter lines to shift on you while you proceed with the installation. I then grab the panels that I used for my loose lay. I start off with my three quarter plank, make sure that it's nice and straight with my datum line, push flat to make sure that it's got good traction with the adhesive and follow up with a full plank making sure that the headers are nice and tight so that there is no gapping formed. I grab my second starter line panel, which is a quarter, and I proceed with the next full plank. Once again, it's good practice to make sure that there's no pattern repeats for as soon as the panels are down, they are down. We will now proceed with grabbing a mallet and tap down all the panels, making sure that they are nice and snug on all the joint seams. And thereafter, we will now grab the heavy roller and roll the two lines. While your colleague is rolling the two lines with the heavy roller, your other colleague can start applying more adhesive and you can carry on laying. Proceed with these steps until your filler lines on either end, cut your filler lines and add in. Thank you for joining me on this brief installation guideline. Please take the time to read carefully through those installation instructions located inside the box and outside the box at the back. For extra information, please visit our website at finfloor.co.za and enjoy your new LVT flooring.